in this video we're going to continue on with one of the questions of our viewer and this is basically part two of the question how to rotate the label text in a donut chart slice vertically in chart js so let me show you first because i need to give you a slight background so you understand part one and, and you also understand why this is part two all right so we have this donut chart here with uh, three rings that we're going to put in and we want to basically this is what we created first, where we position them vertically or in a certain position. And now what we want to do is we want to add up these, these labels instead of the data points here. So this was a question from one of the viewers, which uh, was in Stack Overflow at the time, but also on YouTube, but I couldn't find specifically the, the comment from the user. So eventually this is basically the goal. And I give a answer, but the answer was only the data showing only the data values instead of the labels. So, and here what I noticed as well was a mistake. And you can see in this video here, we're showing this, we are giving the answer, and then he says the following here, and I realized that I didn't didn't read it correctly or didn't notice this plugin. So I assumed he used a specific plugin called Chart JS uh, plugin data labels but this is not the case he uses another one which is called the chart piece label so special thank you for gaming geeks to to ask for the question and of course to reply back so he says here the following this video is really great just one more thing instead of data how can we show those legend labels on the slice i was using chart dash piece dash um label plugin instead of the one you mentioned using the same plugin you mentioned how can we show label or the, the labels, the legend labels on the slice instead of legend. All right, so I'm going to show you, but here's a fair warning. It will not be exactly as how you would like it eventually. And the main reason for this is the uh, labels eventually become far longer. It will overlap the others. So there are ways to do it to reduce the size of the text. There's, we can increase the size of the cutoff percentage of our donut chart. And of course we can trunk truncate the text if ever necessary so i will i might make a part three specifically on the plugin you were referring here which was this one here the chart piece label plugin which i eventually found and then basically this is the the label it was called chart piece label plugin but also called chart js plugin labels don't mistake it with data labels very important all right so this is the chart js plugin data label this is the one i used and I will continue on with this because this is the one he was eventually replying on. Can you show me how we do it in this plugin? All right. So to do this, we all have to do some adjustments on the labels. So we're going to show you exactly what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the labels into the array of the data sets. All right. And the reason I'm going to do that is we need to make sure that all of these have eventually a specific value or else it would just grab here and it will duplicate it three times which is not what I want so we're going to get here labels and then let's copy this and let's go to the second data set here and then in here we do exactly the same except here we're going to put it here I have 12 data points so I'm going to put in here 12 data points as well say week one let's make it weeks or something I have no idea I saw in your video is probably a different CRMs, different options or company product they have. So it could be anything, but in, I, in my case, I just, for demo purposes, to do this. And then what I will do is I will just duplicate this. All right, and then there we are. So that should be more than enough. And then what I will do is I just copy this because this one here is the third data set. And the third data set had, if I'm not mistaken, 12, 3, 6, yeah, 12 data points as well. So in here, there we are, and we will just maintain this. And just to make sure maybe to see the differences, we can do 4, 5, 6, or maybe we just give you a other thing, we say 1. So we can see all the text adjust itself as well. There we are. All right, so we've got this now. Now what we want to do is we want to save this. And once we save the refresh, nothing happens, of course. The reason why nothing happens and now the legend doesn't show is because we reposition the structuring to labels. This is officially not the way to, to, to do it for the legend. You can hide the legend as well in the options, so let's do that one. 
so it will not give us any error or issue so it's a plugins legends let me say display false so this is just a emergency or backup to ensure that it will be removed so now what we're going to do here is instead of showing the data point you want to show the legend value so this is what we call the formatter so if you go here we go to options and then we go to options here so you're going to click on formatter or basically formatter function here which is a function or null. basically the formatter will give you the control of what we are what you would like to show in our case we need this and we're going to do the formatter specifically always in the data sets itself every data set will have it why we will just specify it specifically in the data set with the values so let's start and do this one immediately so we say here in the data labels because this is where we need to be because this is still a part of the plugin functionality that we say in here we want to now activate something else it's called the formatter and the formatter is the following we type formatter and then this will give it a name this function so this is a function it will contain two parameters a value parameter or basically just a value and the context if you're on the if you're wondering what is the context or well, basically context is this part here context or this means draw in the canvas so we get the context is by default if this means draw in the canvas we're going to get the values within the canvas which is which makes sense because this is the entire canvas with all the codes in here so within all of this part here we'll get a value and the value we will specify here is the following we're going to return this value and the value that we're going to return is very straightforward. We go from context, which is in the chart, context with X, make sure you do that. And then we say here chart, which is the chart command here. And then we say here dot. And then we go here basically in the data, data sets, and then labels. All right. So we say data dot data sets but before we do data sets we need to specify here the, the value because this is an array so this would be index zero and this is the reason why i move the data the labels in here instead normally you put it in here but here you will get a conflict because you have multiple labels so we say here zero and then we say here dot labels because we are in the data set and then we want to get the labels here all right and then in here we get the following we say the context and then we say dot data index meaning we're going to get the numbering here which is zero or depending on this one this one is zero this is index one index two as you can see all right so this is very important to remember once we have this and if i save this now go back here refresh you can see now our text is moving but of course you can see this is a big issue here we could truncate this one by saying here uh, let's see here what is that this and then probably we can do here dot substring here zero comma six I'm not sure if this is a solution that you desire this is why I'm telling you that the solution is not hundred percent as what you might hope and what we can do as well of course is here let's expand this size here just to ensure so i'm giving you multiple options so you can see what would be best for you if you're going to do that we need to do the percentage cutout in here so we say here that will be in the data set but not in the data labels remember because this is plugin related and now we're here so we go here and then we say here, comma let me say here, cut out and I say cut out, not cut out percentage. Why in ChartJS three, they adjusted it from cut out. Per, uh, for normally in ChartJS two, it's cut out percentage. Percentage that's in ChartJS two, but now we're in ChartJS three. They adjusted it and they just put in cut out, which is exactly the same. We can make this let's say twenty five percent. We do this. Oh, what happened here? We need to make sure we have a comma here, of course, because we have a break and change. Save that. There we are. So now we increase the size here as well, and this we could be increasing as well. All right, so we've got all of this, and probably now you figured out that we can duplicate the same structure here down. All right, let's do it here. 
you can do this here let's see here is the cutout percentage if this would be exactly desired there you are fair enough that works then we say here the form matter and then we put it in here in the data labels I'm going to remove all of these excess codes here because this was an explanation at the time here remember we're going to put in value one save that refresh oh let's double check here do we have a comma no we didn't have the comma here sorry breaking change save that there we are all right and so now we got that final one to do is events the same structure here in here uh, let me double check i see that we didn't have any data labels here so that's okay we can create that so we say here data labels and then in here well apparently here i also didn't calculate the rotation it was just a sample so we can just copy only the formatter here the formatter for this number two why number two this is the third data set or basically is, uh, as i indicated in every time you have the data set index it's indexable so meaning size is zero one and two all right save that refresh now we have this and this could be adjusted as well you can still change the font size but as you can see it is not 100 percent desirable here i guess here this this is absolutely not really the best way to do it but this is basically how you will be able to move it around and play around as much as possible with the percentage cutout and maybe the last one here and i realized in your example here probably it's exactly the opposite where the inner has basically the outer ring what i have here my outer should be in the inner and the inner should be in the outer all right but we could reduce the cutout percentage to maybe five we do that slightly more space as you can see oh but it gives here something undesirable all right what if i do zero would that be fine oh all right that's not allowed so 25 well we might have some other options but uh apparently it affects the outer ring as well in a way that should not be but that's it for now all right so this is basically it we could maybe reposition this for now what i would like to do then is maybe to move the data sets so just to give you the full answer or as, at least as much as possible uh let's see did i did i copy everything the, oh, all right that's this one here i have to i will cut out this and then i will move it up or oh sorry we don't need to cut it out i realize that i need to cut out the upper one and then we will just move the remaining down so we say here the data sets uh oh let's see make sure we have everything I copy everything excluding the comma I will remove the comma and then here the second data set will be basically the first one and then we go this one here we'll reposition it here we do your comma because this was the data set part then we put it in here save that what did I miss what did I miss all right so let me double check what's missing do we have maybe a breaking change we have this we have that there all right all right we have a comma here so for some reason something didn't work let's see if i can find the item here um console substring all right substring is undefined where's substring substring all right this makes sense the reason why it now gives an error of course is we're going we have a different we're now in a different data set this one has been pushed up right so that would mean that this is data set zero all right so that's a good one that i uh basically move this but as you can see these mistakes here are made which is quite common now we have it again and this is probably a far better way well not the perfect way but i would say this is as close as i can make it based on this plugin so this is really the way that I will, I might make a part three specifically regarding to your plugin as well that you use, which is this one here, the chart.js plugin labels. Although I am uh, considering that this might be a very old plugin that might not support chart.js three very well. So, but this is basically it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in chart.js, check out in the description box the link 
directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.